right, there's a study that is examining, and this is a new study, what happens to our brains when we almost die, right? This will get your attention. Researchers studied near-death experiences in cardiac arrest survivors, suggesting nearly 40% of people undergoing CPR show signs of having memories and dreamlike experiences or some type of perception. And even signs of awareness can consisting of being conscious, sometimes up to an hour. It's the first of its kind study published in the Resuscitation Journal. The associate professor in the Department of Medicine at NYU Langone Health, Dr. Sam Parnia, is the lead author in the study and joins us now live to talk more about it. Thank you uh, for being with us. Happy Friday. This is fascinating. Um, I'm curious how the research started and more importantly, what you discovered about these near-death experiences in cardiac arrest. Thank you so much for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be with you. Just to give you some background, you know, um, there have been millions of people from around the world who've reported that when they've gone, when their hearts have stopped, which is essentially what happens when we all die, and they've gone beyond the threshold of death, been brought back to life again, that they had reported an incredible experience where they felt that their consciousness, so even though they look like they're in a deep coma to the doctors like myself, but from their own perspective, their consciousness continues and it becomes hyper lucid and much more powerful. Their thoughts become clearer. And, and at that same time, they also have a perception of being fully aware, watching doctors and nurses, but also having a fascinating experience where they review their entire lives. So not just as like a random flashbacks, but every interaction they've had with others is reevaluated in a purposeful manner. They learn their intentions, their thoughts, and they evaluate what they've done. And so our study essentially tried to explore for the first time ever in a large scale, what happens to the brain in people using special brain monitors as they're being revived back to life. And we were trying to see if we can find signs of these lucid conscious experiences in people to validate what they have been saying for years. So you would have to monitor someone in cardiac arrest and it's such a spontaneous, scary event. How do you even do that? Yeah, it's a very difficult challenge. We, this was actually carried out across 25 major medical centers in the United States and the United Kingdom mostly. And what they had is the doctors and nurses were given a prepared pack uh, uh, that they had different brain monitors and equipment that they would take with them. These were dedicated research staff and they had to work in conjunction with the clinical doctors who were trying to save the patient's life. And the research staff would put on the monitors on the brain and allow data to be collected about what was happening in the brain second by second as patients were re revived. And so it really was unique. We also had developed special tests using a tablet, like an iPad with an app, with a headphone that we would put on patients and that would give them sounds and video, uh, audio and, and visual stimuli that we could then later test for uh, to detect consciousness in them. Wow, incredible. Uh, I have less than a minute left. Um, you often hear people see like a, a white light or they see deceased loved ones. What was the most unique uh, experience that someone was able to recount that they saw? I, I think the most unique experience and, and the most unique aspect of this finding, if I may say, is that essentially we were able to show markers that indicate these experiences, such as the one I'm about to tell you, are real. They're not hallucinations, they're not imaginations, they're not like a delusional experience. And what they described is actually reviewing every moment of their lives. Um, and, and so that was the key thing. And what we, what we think we understand is that what happens is as the brain flatlines and stops working, it actually gives access to hidden parts of the brain that are released from braking systems. And this gives people um, access to their entire consciousness mm -hmm. and other dimensions of reality that seems to be more suited for people as they're going from life to death. Yeah, wow, the brain is so remarkable. Uh, really interesting study. We'll have to have you back to talk more about it. Um, Dr. Sam Parnia, thank you so much, enlightening. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.